The world knows Lisa as the little girl pushing the pink stroller moments before a Russian missile stole her life. A searing, unforgettable image of the savagery of war. Undeniable evidence of Putin's crimes against humanity. But to her mother, Lisa, a four-year-old girl with Down syndrome, was and is so much more than a victim, so much more than a symbol. Lisa, Lisa gave us so much love. I have never felt like this in my life. What do you want the world to know about your daughter? When she was alive, I dreamed that her example would instill faith in parents who have special children that anything is possible. Irina Dmitrieva survived life-threatening injuries. Now she's able to walk again, but shrapnel still bulges from her wrist, below the arm forever bearing Lisa's name. We visited Dmitrieva in the village outside Vienna, where since last summer, she's been receiving rehabilitation for her injuries. What do you remember from that day in July? When Lisa and I looked up, we saw a rocket flying directly above our heads. I thought this was probably the end. I went over the baby carriage to shield her, and there was an explosion. In the moments after, Dmitrieva remembers asking a man for help unstrapping Lisa from the carriage. But unlike Dmitrieva, the stranger saw that Lisa had not survived. I wanted to get her out myself, but my hand was injured. He says, I'm sorry, but I can't help anymore. Among the dead today in Venezia, there is a girl. She was four years old. Lisa. Her name is Lisa. The child is four years old. In critical condition, Dmitrieva missed her daughter's funeral. She was despondent. But then Lisa would start visiting her in her dreams. It was a very, very long dialogue. We talked, she came and told me a lot. The dreams are very realistic. When she hugs and kisses me, it feels like we are holding hands. And I am so happy. But even with Lisa in her dreams encouraging her, she resisted efforts to help her recover physically. I did not want to be treated at all. The doctors told me that you must. And for the first few months, they constantly scolded me. Oh, so you didn't have a good attitude towards rehabilitation when you started? I had no desire for rehabilitation because I did not understand why I was leaving at all. What changed? I came to realize that I should leave for the sake of her memory, to help other people. She spends her time writing and walking through historic central Vienna, always contemplating and often sharing her innermost thoughts. Many set to music, like this song she chose, Memories, by Turkish artist Serhat Durmas. Alas, I was your mother for so little time, so little. She writes, Motherhood is a gift. It was short for me, but filled with love, tenderness, and bright colors. She shares the replay in her mind of that day, The terrible picture is spinning before my eyes again and again. I remember everything, down to the smallest detail, she writes. And then there are the dreams of her conversations with Lisa. You seem to be alive, but you are dead, she writes. And there is no light, no way out, because the pain is so strong that it obscures the light. Only one thing saves me. Quoting Lisa, This is not your time, Mom. We will definitely meet together, but later, your Lisa. Had Lisa not spoken to her, Dmitrieva wrote in November, I wouldn't have been able to live. I wouldn't have survived. The posts over time growing defiant until the week before Christmas, this. I'm showing this video with my scars, she says, not for pity, but for the world to see how the neighboring country of the murderer mutilates the Ukrainian people. Scars on the body don't scare me. But the scars on the heart, she writes, will never disappear. They're like a crown of thorns clamping from all sides. Unfortunately, there are thousands like me. 
on Instagram, you've showed people your scars. Tell me why. Everyone should see what these bastards are doing. I'm just one example out of thousands of people who are suffering from this war. She also wants to use her voice to reach a growing audience of parents of special needs children. By sharing your story, what do you hope it will teach people? I really want every child following Lisa's example to receive love, faith and support from their parents every day. I want people to see that everything is possible, that great love works wonders. And love continues to pour in from strangers. One, a boy with autism, painted this portrait of Lisa, surrounded by flowers, butterflies and angels. And she's painting herself. On Instagram, Dmitrieva recorded a message for her daughter. I promised you that I would show you the world, she wrote. It's as beautiful and bright as you. A beautiful world that Dmitrieva can now, on occasion, herself appreciate. Jason Bellini, Scripps News, Vienna, Austria.